Welcome, this is Andy Bennett of Great Plains Gravel. Today we're going to do a review of an inexpensive bicycle handlebar bag that we've used pretty extensively over the last three years. It's sometimes called the Bravehawk Outdoors Bicycle Handlebar Bag, also the ZTOM Cycling Bike Bag. Depends on where you're buying it from. Both those names show up on Amazon for the exact same bag. When you look at this bag, it's 13.8 by 7 by 5.5 inches, has four pockets made out of nylon oxford. It is water resistant. I certainly wouldn't consider it waterproof. Has a large outer strap covering the two larger pockets that you can stuff things under. It's actually meant to be a handle for the bag if you're going to use it as a carry bag. Um, the front pouch is fairly small, maybe a phone, a battery, a small camera. The middle pouch is the bigger pouch where you're going to put jackets, things like that. The little side pouches I've used for things like patch kits, plug kits, uh, gels. A small camera would fit in there also. The bag does come with a strap, which I'm not featuring in this, that you can use it as a shoulder or a belt bag. Um, it's a snap attachment to the handlebars using using little button fasteners or snap fasteners. Moving into the positives and the negatives of these bags, they're quite inexpensive, about $28. You're not going to find a handlebar bag any cheaper than that that I've seen consistently. It's a good size for what we needed. We're not bike packing with the bag. We just needed a small compartmentalized bag for day trip type items. The initial quality is good. They, they're reasonably well constructed. They looked good. They have zippers that have held up well over time. When we look at some of the negatives though, durability is number one on the list. Um, we've had three of them. Two of them have completely failed with the seams, which are single stitched at the bottom of the bag and also toward the top of the bag, ripping loose. Um, it's taken a couple of years for both of them for that to happen on both of them but they have completely failed other more minor issues the side pouches unzip from the front to the back and since the bag leans forward a little bit if you don't get it zipped up good things can fall out the zippers while durable are a little bit clunky and hard to zip particularly if you're trying to do it while you're on the move and the attachment mechanism to the bars leaves a lot to be desired. It is, as I show in this little clip, a, uh, a strap with a snap. Those snaps hold reasonably well, but I have had them come loose a couple of different times on really rough terrain. Never both sides at once, so I haven't had the bag fall off. Uh, but that's not an ideal situation. I've remedied that by just taking a zip tie between the two metal bars that are on either side of the strap and just zip tie it on there. When I need to take it off later, I'll just cut the zip tie. Thanks for watching today. If you found this useful and you'd like to see more content, bike reviews, bike product reviews, ride videos from the Great Plains area, please like and subscribe.